What is the most important word in your life? Kevin. Love. Integrity. Family. I was right. It's your name. In my fellow Toastmasters, um, this is Madam Toastmaster, most no guest. The purpose of my speech today is to give you some facts about names and to give an idea of what you can do to use the power of the name in your life. Well, let's go. Many parents seem to believe that their child cannot prosper unless it is hitched to the right name. There be names seem to carry a great aesthetic and power. This may explain why in 1958, Larry, a New York City man, Robert Lane, called his baby boy Winner. The Lane family, living in a housing project in Harlem, had several other kids with fairly typical names. But Robert Lane felt special about this one. And three years later, they had another child. They became their seventh and last child, Lorraine. And for reasons that no one can quite pin down today, Robert Lane named this boy Loser. First a winner Lane, then a loser Lane. And if Winner Lane can hardly be expected to fail, could Loser Lane ever succeed? Loser Lane did in fact succeed. After finishing prep school and graduating from Lafayette College in Pennsylvania, he joined the New York Police Department and where he became detective and made it to sergeant. What about his brother with a can't miss name, Winner Lane, he, his biggest achievement was a long criminal record <laughs> with <laughs> three dozen arrests for burglary, criminal violence, and some other mayhem. In, his bo in their book, uh, Freakonomics, <coughs> Stephen Levitt and Stephen Dubner describe some other examples of how people use their names. For example, one family, they named their boy Amter after the first thing they saw when reaching the hospital. Albany Medical Center Hospital Emergency Room, AMCHBR. <laughs> but most people give their children real names. They get some more popular than others. And what is the most popular girl's name in the United States? Who knows? Yeah. Emily, correct, David. Since 1994, when displaced Jessica in the 1780s, it was Jennifer. And the most, um, what's the most popular boy's name? Christopher. Almost, yes, these are very popular names. Jared. And Scott, it is right now, it's Jacob since 1994, and it used to be for a long time Michael. Since, except 1960, since 1954, Michael was the number, name, number one boy's name. The name is the favorite word in everybody's ears. It's the sugar in your conversation with another person. <coughs> it sounds so good. But we know this. Every salesman learns it. The importance of the name, why don't we use the name more often? Because we don't know it oftentimes. Or we just forget it. I will give you five steps, a five-step formula how you can remember any name in your life. Step number one, get it. Ask for it. And if you did this in the past but you have forgotten it, ask again. There are some trickier ways how to glean the information, but the best thing is just admit it and ask again, and you will get it. Number two, verify it. Ask. You will pronounce it correctly. And here's the secret. Ask, how do I spell it? This is more, very important. If somebody gets my name and does not ask me how to spell it, Scott, then I know he does not know how to write it. 
because it's a complicated name. But also for the more common names, it's important to, to ask this question. I've seen a Thomas without the H. Elena, could you spell your name for me? H-E-L-A-N-A. -A. Oh, H-E-L-A-N-A. -A. I always thought it was H-E-L-E-N-A. -E this is what I thought is the correct spelling, but it's not. Apparently, it's worth to ask everybody how to spell his name. Number three, repeat it. How often? As often as you possibly can. At least three times immediately after you got it. Um, nice to meet you, Mike. Then during the conversation, whenever you say a sentence, you can add the name, write frenzy, and when you leave the conversation, just um, it was a pleasure meeting you. So, number four, imagine associated, picture it. Many people try to find an association with the name and the face. Many people try to come up with some word games or how they can associate it. And they do things like when they meet a gym, they imagine or visualize gym in gym clothes or, or Sandy at the beach and things like this. Franklin D. Roosevelt always amazed his staff by remembering the name of every person he met. What he did was he, rem he visualized the face of the person and his name written on his forehead. This way he could remember all the names. Maybe we can give it a try. <coughs> Five, write it down. Write it down during the conversation, but if that's not possible, then write it down afterwards in your contact file, in your notebook, or maybe at night in your journal. Get it, verify it, repeat it, picture it, and write it down. And then say it, and say it again. Fellow Toastmasters, let me close with my hope today. I hope that you will make a decision today to ask everybody you meet for a name. Mm -hmm. Fellow Toastmasters.